happy birthday, Michael. <laughs> Thanks, Wee Sam. <laughs> I've been waiting all year to say that. It has been a year. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you've come in in pure, in like Michael final form. Yeah. Chicago Bears hat. Cubs. Uh, Cubs. Uh, I already messed that up. Great. I love baseball. <laughs> Big fan, as you can tell. Um, and then your Blackstone t-shirt. Dragonstone. Dragonstone. Dude, I couldn't have got that <laughs> more wrong. Wow. You're, you're in fine form. Dude? <laughs> Dude? I'll let that pass. It's your birthday. <laughs> what uh, is going on? Dude, everything's, everything is getting better, I feel like. I did. I think someone tried to finesse me. Someone tried to finesse me this week. And I'm not going to mention the exact shop's name, but I got my windows tinted. And, <laughs> yep, this is what I'm going to say to you people. Make sure you go online and you do your research and you make sure the tint looks a certain way that you pay for, right? Like if you pay for something, you're like, okay, this one has a bluish shade to it or this one is just 3M color stable, so it's like a, just pure black. Make sure, make sure that, when it's done, that they put that kind in. Because if I hadn't double-checked, <laughs> I would have gotten the wrong tent, and they would have gotten a few hundred extra bucks out of me. Oh. Yeah. So just be careful out there. I'm not going to mention this, the shop, because technically it could have been a simple mistake. But I have read a lot of reviews online that tent some a good number of tent shops tend to do this. So just be careful if you're paying for the extra stuff. Just got real, man. Wow. Yeah, I got. I was. I, I was actually really angry. I was screaming in my car. <laughs> I was screaming in my car. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't right. want to be taken advantage of. It was. It was more for the the. It wasn't because of the tent necessarily. It's because I felt like I was taken advantage of. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's understandable. Yeah. So you're playing video games today, uh, and you have a little party later. Party. Yeah. What are you playing video games wise? Uh, I'm having some people over, so maybe some Mario Party. Yeah. Um, Mario Ooh, Kart. Mar yeah. Mario Kart. Ooh, Mario Party Mario. Which ones? Uh, the Switch versions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Better graphics. I like that. Yeah. Maybe some uh, Mortal Kombat. Dude. Oh, t okay. Two things. I wish they had more levels for the Switch version of Mario Party because it feels like there's only four. There's only, yeah, there's only four. There's not, there's not too many. What? It's very disappointing. Do 12. <laughs> <laughs> that might be too many. No, do 12. <laughs> and then also the new Mortal Kombat... Uh, what is it, 11? Came 11, out? yeah. Dude, looks so... How much more intense are they going to make these things? They could make it probably more intense yeah. somehow. Yeah. Somehow. Good. Sometimes I look at it, I'm like, I, it's such a stupid thing to say. I was like, that's not realistic. But like, it's... Ugh, come on, you know, suspend your display. Because <laughs> one of those things, like... I mean, you know, you, they do those x-ray yeah. stuff. You're dead. You're... Yeah. Dead. Just dead. The ones where they like crack the skull or the jaw, and I'm like, you'd be out at least. At least like knocked out. You can't <laughs> fight anymore after that. You're done. Done. They have Shang Tsung coming back. I guess he's they got the yeah, original he's, he's actor. Just coming back, yeah. Yeah, that's from, pretty from cool. From the movie. That's I pretty know. crazy. Yeah. I wonder if you're going to be allowed to play as every character for the whole round, or if it's just for that, you know what I mean? Just for like when a split second. Yeah, when he transforms. I don't know. Who's your go-to character on Mario? Uh, Mario Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, I like Scorpion. Scorpion's cool. Scorpion. Yeah, you give the Scorpion vibe. <laughs> I was always Sub Zero. Mortal Enemies. I know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we want to talk about Guayaki? Oh yeah, I just a special shout out to Guayaki. I'm drinking their Revel Berry this morning. Oh, so good. Always so good with the guayaki. I've been drinking a lot of the gourd with the uh, metal straw, the filtered metal straw. It's been great. Thank you to guayaki for keeping us caffeinated, energized, <clears throat> and not thirsty. What's the opposite of not thirsty? Quenched. Quenched, yeah. Thank you. That's a good one. Anything in the mail? We have one question um, okay. from Steph. Uh, she wants to ask me. <laughs> Uh, how it feels to be old. Okay. And uh, I'm not that much older than her. Oh, uh, shots fired. <laughs> Steph is our social media producer, so. Uh, but it's nice because you don't really care about anything. Yeah. Like, you just do what you want to do. Yeah, that's right. Insurance gets cheaper, hopefully. Insurance gets cheaper, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, you're living the life right now, <laughs> and you're 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 friends with me. Yeah. And you, and all you guys, yeah. Are you friends with Peyton? I am friends with Peyton. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to assume friendships here. Uh, really excited for our guest today. It's Andy Allo. She is a very talented uh, musician. She st- is also an actress, and she starred in Pitch Perfect 3 and also stars in a new show on Amazon, which is from the creators of The Office. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk with her today. She seems really cool. She has a new uh, uh, single, I Love You and Me. You Thanks. guys should check that out on YouTube. We're going to talk about that, a whole bunch of stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Andy Allo. All right. All right. We're good. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Got everything out of my teeth. Yes. Uh, good. You look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, you have a new single out right now. I do. Yes. I got you, to hear it. Yeah. Which, so, okay. uh, I have yeah. two new songs out. <laughs> I Love You and Me. Is that the recent one? No, that is, that's really old. Oh, no. Should we start over? No, we're going to keep going with this. <laughs> I really liked it, though. That's the link I got in the in the email. So Wait, that's really it's not interesting. Angels make love. I have not seen Angels make love. What? Oh my goodness! Oh. We're gonna have to play that right now. Is yes. that okay? Yeah. Yes. Michael, let's pull it up and let's play a little bit of it. No, I saw uh, I love you and me, and I just thought that was. Can we talk about that real quick? Yes. And then we'll talk about the other one, um, <laughs> and the, the newer one. The more that's that you want to promote. Yeah. Um, and I love you and me is like from twenty. 12, 2013. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, that's the one I got. <laughs> and it's like, it's a song Prince and I did together. It's one of his songs, and then we kind oh, cool. of reworked it yeah. in an acoustic. It's an acoustic song that you heard, is it? It's the one where it's it, there's choreographed dancers in a, in a black okay. a black box. That's, okay. that's not it. No, that's Don't Ever Say. Oh, my Wait. gosh. Wait, Th- in a black box? <laughs> is the- this it? <laughs> Yeah. That's Angels Make Love. Angels Make Love. Love. It is Angels Make Love. Okay. Okay. Then this is the one I heard. Okay. Yeah, the link I I got. I Love You and Me is, well, I don't know where, that's another, well, that is a song, so you did actually. I did hear something you said. It's not No, that's. What in the world? I I must have gotten my my name's mixed up. I love that that you had that written, though. It's, you have I Love You and Me written. Yeah. That, but that's also a beautiful song. Yeah. But Angels Make Love is the new, Dude, is the the new cho- one. Dude, the, the choreography for that is so intense. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It was beautiful. And just the whole team, you know, from director Sean Frank and Lena Waithe, you know, kind yeah, of yeah. backed in and supported it from the first minute she heard the song. So wow. the whole, it just kind of came together. It was so beautiful. And, yeah. and I loved all the couples. Those are real couples. Oh, um, whoa. Really? At the, towards the end, yeah. Wow. And Oh, sorry. Just keep this uh, kind of close oh, to you. Yeah, okay. yeah. No it's all good. Um, the, yeah, then the dance, we have the dancers as well, and cu- a couple of the dancers are actually really real couples. So we wanted to, you know, have a, a, a video that shares such a message of love and, and unity and acceptance. Mm. And so bringing in, you know, LGBTQ, uh, people and, uh, couples, it just, I don't know, it, it gives you such a nice warm and fuzzy feeling. Yeah. Of, of very love. sensual. And that's what love is supposed to be like. Yeah. Very and sensual. And I, I, I was like, oh man, this is like, oh, this, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm yeah. involved, I'm invested, you know, it's great. Yeah. And, and the song itself is, is that moment, you know, mm. of when you're just about to make love for the first time with somebody. Yeah. And there's that anticipation. There's nerves. There's, you know, oh my gosh, is it going to be good? Or am I going to be good? And, yeah. Or what, what will there be that chemistry? But there is, you know, and that tension right before not even making love, really just even like that first kiss. It can be just like that first moment before you truly connect with someone on such an intimate level. And, and, and yeah, and the video just complimented the song so well. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with it. The, the 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 song and the songwriting process is so interesting to me because my brother's a musician, mm-hmm. and he, you know, tells me about how he works with different producers, different sound mixers, different artists, yeah. and how it's more of a collaborative process sometimes than I thought it would be. You know what I mean? And yeah. for you, is it in your work right now? Do you feel like you kind of take the lead more, or do you feel like you're more inclusive, like? You, you want a lot of feedback in, in what you're doing. I mean, I feel like with music, it's it, it's always a collaborative process mm. because, 
Well, sometimes it depends. If you do everything, then maybe not so much. Yeah. But I I love working with different producers and, and different people to kind of bring the vision together. And I, I feel like it depends on the song. A lot of my songs I start with, you know, playing guitar and just in my house just playing and, you know, singing. Yeah. And then noodling around and then I write. I write the song, and that's kind of how "Angels Make Love" came. You say about. Noodle, noodle, noodling along? Noodling. Oh, that's the first time I've heard it. I like no. that. No. Yeah, noodling along. I like that. You don't noodle? I've never, I've never noodled like that. No. Do you play? I play a little bit. I'm not a uh, musician, but I play on my own. But I, I don't noodle. Wow. Yeah. What? What's what's noodle like? Noodling is yeah. just. Wow. I've never like, heard that before. Oh my God. I know. Um, I know. This no, a, I like it. I mean, this is a historic moment. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure how to process this. Um. <laughs> According to dictionary.com, oh, noodling okay. is to improvise a musical passage in oh. a casual manner, especially as a warm up exercise. There you go. There yeah. you go. Noodle. Dude, yeah. I, the more you know, we should have a rainbow You're uh, welcome. graphic. <laughs> Um, yeah, just yeah. noodling around, yeah. and um, <laughs> now <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I know. I know. I love I know. it. I love it. Um, do you find yes. yourself noodling more so, like uh, in the evening, or are you more a morning person for for noodling or working with music? Probably more so evening. Yeah. You know, when it feels like the world is quiet, mm. um, and. That sounded so much bigger than I wanted. But no. you, I don't know, you feel the energy, you know. Uh, but I'm trying to switch that to early in the mornings because that's also another time where ah. it's like kind of that you can sense like the energy is just there's not a lot happening and Dude, there's 100%. like a certain kind of quiet um, that it's almost like you're more receptive to creativity and all the goodness that the universe has. Um, so, but mostly in the evenings and. I don't know, but to finish answering your last yeah, question, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to say that I found myself being more collaborative recently in the sense of usually I will write a song myself yeah. and I'll come in with it ready with the music or and the idea of how it should sound. And I find myself kind of being more open to let's just create something from scratch and whatever kind of happens, happens, you know, mm. and, and being more open to that as opposed to like, all right, I have to be the one who writes it and have all of that kind of control yeah. on, on the, on the song. So, so both happen now, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good balance to have. Yeah. Have you seen that from other people and that's why you adopted it? Like seeing how it works for some people, how it works for other people. You're like, oh, I can adopt both of those things. Or did that kind of just happen naturally for you? I think it happened organically. You know, I, I mean, just being exposed to different artists. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've co-written with other artists before and just seeing how fun it was. I think it just started to become more of a thing of like, oh yeah, I want to do this more. Yeah. Yeah. You West Coast based? I am. Yes. Nice. LA. That's right. I'm local. Local. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I California based. I will say this. <laughs> the weather this year has been absolutely splendid. Has, for LA. No, you're lying. But no, why would I lie about that? Because <laughs> <laughs> don't don't give these people like you know false like you know. What are you talking about? about LA? Impressions. It's been bad. We've had it's, rain. Yes, that's all. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Andy Allo. I don't know why bad. you're yelling at me right now. This is a hostile environment. <laughs> Listen. I missed it. I wasn't here for it. I just heard about it, and I was like, "Thank God." I just got okay. Thanks so. for coming on the show, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just got back from Hawaii, okay, right? And okay. that's like a whole like amazing experience. Yeah. That's a whole different thing. Have you been? No, I've never. You been. have to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go for real. Okay. I feel like I could cry. It's whoa, like whoa, it's okay. such a beautiful place. I like nature, like, so. There you go. Really? Yeah. You don't you don't strike me as like a nature person. But anyway, so. <laughs> I just got back, and like the day that I landed, are you okay? So I landed, and <laughs> I get off the plane, I walk out of the airport, it is overcast, it's rain, I'm like, what? This is not the LA I know. Get me out of here. I I, sh I know, I can't, right. I can't. You you want sunny mm -hmm. LA, Thank 86 you. degrees, no so humidity. I'll take 75. You take 75, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this is tasty. Yeah, it's I not like bad. That. Mm -hmm. no What's your go-to drink? Like whenever you're working, you you caffeine, coffee, tea person. Um, more tea. More tea. Yeah, London okay. Fog. L is that a tea? 
the. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Do you Andy. get out? <laughs> Andy. Do you Allo. do anything? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I do go I feel out. Like what? we need to know more about you. That's not <laughs> like a green. Is that a green, a black tea, or what is it's that? It's an Earl Grey tea. It's an Earl Grey. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I should have guessed an by Earl London Grey fog. Tea. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. But no joke. I am a nature person. Heavy nature person. Um, okay. A heavy nature person. That's, okay. That's what does that mean? Uh, no, I just I like really you love camp, nature. You hunt. Uh, no, you, you he, runs, he runs up a mountain every other day. Yeah, I love what? the trails, the hiking trails. What mountain? Griffith Park. Is that a mountain? Oh my god! Ooh. I mean, it's for LA. It's a mountain. <laughs> it's a good mountain. It's so a I, hill. It's a big. It's more than a hill. We can. It's we, not a mountain. We can meet in the middle. Okay, fine. What I is call the middle? it a mountain. A big hill. <laughs> a big hill. It's a. It's more. Yeah. It's a big hill. It feels like a mountain. I'm considering it they a mountain. They say it's a mountain range. Yeah, it's, a, it's a small mountain. What? My, mountain range. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I do see you, I'm outnumbered here. <laughs> no, um, I was going to ask you about Hawaii, though. What, where, what did you do in Hawaii that was, uh, like... So, I, I've never been, and I went to Maui, and then I island hopped to Kauai. Oh, cool. And it's just, I don't know. The air is different there. Yeah. Um, And it's... There's there's just a feeling I don't know. There's so much nature, and you step outside, and it's just be- beautiful. Mm. Doesn't matter where you look, you know. And I don't know what it is. I can't I can't put my finger on it. But there's just such an energy that's open and free mm. there. You think it's maybe because of the isolation? Because it's it's not that populated. Am, am I correct? I mean, I I don't know, but it doesn't seem it doesn't feel that way. Even mm. though it's really touristy, and there's so many people. Uh, visiting and whatever it just didn't yeah. it didn't feel it didn't feel crowded when I was there yeah and you know you can just like you rent a car and you're just like driving and your view is the ocean as you're driving and because the road is right on the coast yeah and so and everything's kind of spread apart so it would take like an hour or so to get to different things and I didn't even care so like the hour driving like here <laughs> versus there like you could tell there's such a huge difference I was so happy. I was like, I, don't, I could drive two hours in here. Yeah. This is I actually awesome. cover distance, not just go 10 miles in an hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I um, kayaked on the ocean and snorkeled uh, for the first time. I'm terrified of the ocean. Um, As you should be. It's it's not that. Yes. Like, I have a healthy respect for it. That's a better way to yes. put it. Absolutely. Because. I mean, waves can get pretty huge. Yeah. They don't even have to be that high. Like four or five foot high waves, yeah. they're pretty powerful. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't. I can't even do that. Yeah, there was like a, maybe a one foot wave, <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> yeah. oh, that reminds me. The first time I went to the ocean at night was Ooh. a crazy, almost spiritual experience wow. for me. It was like looking into the void, and I started thinking about, oh my gosh, I can only imagine back, you know back hundreds and hundreds of years ago you know there's like explorers and yeah. they've never seen the ocean before oh was that you or me that was me that's are you good i'm great okay that's all right nothing happened nothing happened um <laughs> <laughs> uh and can you imagine like being an explorer and then you just run into the ocean at night and you're like what is this yeah it's kind of eerie feeling wow did you swim? You swam in the ocean? No, or you just no, no. At it? I just looked at oh, it. I, yeah. I was just walking up to the ocean, and yeah. I just saw pitch black for yeah. like forever. That's yeah. all you see, and but you feel that energy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean, coming from it, or you yeah. hear the waves, and you're like, oh, feels like That's, eternity. Yeah, and it just never ends. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's meditative in a way, because mm. it's just like when you listen to like the waves, mm. it's just like this continual. And continuous motion and sound. Yeah. I couldn't live mm-hmm. by the ocean, that's for sure. Really? Yeah. It's too loud for me. Like, that would get too loud. Wow. I'm more of a mountain mountains guy or yeah. mountain or deep in the forest kind of person. See, I am I sleep with earplugs because oh. I, I'm such a light sleeper. Like, any noise will wake mm. me up. And I rented this, like, little Airbnb that was right on the water. And you could hear the waves. From and I initially I was like, oh, this is gonna be like really bad. Yeah. Because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. Yeah. But then by the end, like I had the door open and the waves, like it became oh. really soothing. So and I'm normally a person who's like, no, I don't even want, I don't want white noise. I don't want no noise. Yeah, I want yeah. nothing. Like let's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah. Do you think maybe because it was something 
natural? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Probably so. And then when I went to Kauai, which is even more beautiful, um, <laughs> that was even possible. And it's more mountainous there. Um, and so they have like this huge canyon. It's kind of like the Grand Canyon of Hawaii. Yeah. Stunning. Um, but I stayed in this mountainous area and it was that. It was like dead quiet. It was amazing. You would love it. Yeah. You have to go. I, Just, I, you have to go. <laughs> I resonate with you with the, because uh, I'm a really early person mm -hmm. and I love that for 4.30, 5 a.m. is coming, kind of pushing it, but around 4 a.m. is like that that perfect golden hour where nobody's, like, yeah. like you feel the kind of the city mm -hmm. settle yeah. and you can feel your own energy. That's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. Like you feel it. You can actually get in touch with yourself yes. more. Yes. And driving at that time and then being on the mountain at like, you know, 5.15, there's nobody else. Yeah, you can still hear the highway sounds, which is kind of eh. But for the most part, you realize, yeah. oh, I'm by myself up here. I don't know. It's really, yeah. it's needed for me. Yeah. Wait, it, so you wake up at 4.30? 4 in the morning? 4 during the summertime just because I have to make wow. it up there before the sun rises. Make it up where? Oh, you're Griffith Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Wow. Oh, okay. No, but yeah. <laughs> Will you do this every day? Almost. That's incredible. It's okay. It didn't start off like that. That's for sure. It that's didn't. what people. That's what people need to know. It started off with me walking up the mountain because I was suffering some really bad anxiety. Yeah. And I had to deal with it in some way that I knew how. Mm -hmm. And then it progressively got more and more and more, and now I'm basically. A pretty fast jog up that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I, you know what I brought back? That's one of the things I brought back from my time in Hawaii, which was being out in nature more. Mm -hmm. And I think living in LA, it's easy to take it for granted. Everything, we have a lot of access to all these, you know, hikes and the yeah. beach and whatever. There's so much here. But at the same time, you're sitting in traffic all day. So you, I don't know. I, I've, I found myself kind of being like, eh, I'll just stay home and not like get out and not take advantage of all like the great things that we have access to here. So coming back from Hawaii, I was like, you know what? I want to try to be outside and doing more and being active. Yeah. Like I was in Hawaii. I was like, I was hiking. I was doing all types of crazy shit. Um, and it was so fun. So since I've been back, like I went to the beach and I, I went to this hike at, um, uh, in Echo Park. I can't remember what, it's like a trail in Echo oh, okay. Park. Um, and it's, it's a hill. So, <laughs> 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 there's a hill there and they have a trail and I'd never, I'd never been there. I usually do like Griffith or like Runyon. Yeah. And, and it was so cool to explore like a different area mm. and be outside and be in nature and listening to the birds chirping and whatever. And, and so that's something like I love hearing you saying that because I it's something I've been really trying to implement more. Have you seen the po wild poppies? Did you go to the poppy reserve? I did not. No, oh, are they I'm, gone? I don't know. They might still be there. Okay. It was. I've never seen anything like that. Wow. It was worth the drive. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. If they're still around, you should go. It's I want to go. Definitely, it's a hundred percent worth it. Okay. And then there's yeah, there's a couple of good hikes up north. I'm trying to do that more often, do some random hikes more up north, more to oh, the no, west. I know, it's over. It's over? <laughs> I think so. Darn. Oh, they're gone? Yeah. Next year. Hopefully next year if we yeah. still get with the rains. According to this, uh, discover Los Angeles County. Oh, oh really? Gotcha. It was only for two weeks. <laughs> oh, wow. Because the, the sun. Ah. Uh, oh. And the bloom sense. time changes every year. Yeah. Interesting. What was cool, though, was when we went early in the morning, the blooms yeah. were kind of closed, and then as the day progressed, they <gasps> became more open. So as, you're, as we're walking through, I'm like... Are they getting, is there more of them? Is that just happening? Like, yeah, I, I, yeah. Like, yeah it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you done uh, Mount Whitney and like, or any of like. Mount Baldy. Okay. Yeah. You've done, Bel okay. Baldy was cool. Whitney's one, right? I'm not making that up. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's yeah. a mountain. Whitney that's a mountain. A that's a mountain. That yeah. is, yeah. Baldy's a mountain too. That's a legit mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw a guy biking up that thing. What? Was, yeah. And then we were like, and at some points he had to carry his bike and we were just like, ah. <sighs> we called them calves because we saw his calves. Oof. Oh, I love calves. You're a calves person. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Show me a good calf. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> that's that's the quote for the show. <laughs> that's the quote for the show. Show me a good calf. 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Have you seen Free Solo, the one about yes. the guy? Yeah. Yes, I was crying. It was so it was so inspirational. Really? <laughs> I was like, I want to climb. Really? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Wow. The I didn't like shade. That one. I know. <laughs> I can't. I, know. I feel comfortable around you. I don't. I don't want to be love, dishonest. Me too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, Why? I what? Uh, it seemed too too selfish. Like you and, knew uh, he was gonna do it and like kill it and is like you wanted to. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, struggle more. I, I get pulled in two directions a lot lately. Okay. There's a part of me that really wants to, there's respects people because they're on their own journey and everybody's yeah. at their own level. They don't have a different uh, life circumstances. So everybody's living their own truth, hopefully. You know what I mean? Right. So this guy's living his own truth. Yes. However, I have to be true to my truth too. And so I see what he's doing is like, I, I just see it as so selfish and you're risking your life for what? You know what I mean? Like for you to have this experience. But he loves it. It's his it's, passion. It just seems really selfish to me. Like if you're going to risk your life doing that, like go do something of service and risk your life. I don't know. That's just that's just my my perspective on it. Hmm, interesting. There's but wouldn't you say that for like pe people who are like professional surfers? That's risk. That's life. That's a yeah. Not as risky life. as uh, what he's doing. That's for I sure. No. When there's like twenty foot. Well, however, you know, crazy high waves and there's someone out oh, there okay. surfing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah, so those huge, what are they called? Those uh, those monster waves in Portugal. Have you ever seen them? No. Oh, they're, they're, Michael, let's pull them up. They're fucking ridiculous. No joke, they're, they're, they're the most and people insane. Are they look unreal. Those. Yeah, people are surfing them, but they have to get, check this out. Andy, Andy, watch this. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm watching. <laughs> you have my full Andy, attention. Andy, watch me, watch me. <laughs> uh, they get on these little jet skis and they get pulled into the uh, the part of the wave where they can ride. So, check this I'm out. I'm obsessed. Okay. What? What? No. No! No. Oh, there's a jet ski. L that's... I love the jet ski guy. He's like right on top of the wave. Like, that's what's fascinating me. I'm like, look, oh. Look, look. <gasps> oh no, he's gonna get caught. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's stopped. I mean, wow. wh that what you're you're surfing a building. You're surfing <laughs> yes. a that building. That is a mountain. That right, <laughs> a mountain of water, right? Okay. I can't. So no. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. Oh, he's okay. I can't. I, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We're done. We're done. See, to me, that's like okay. Don't. That's that to me. I'm like, there's no the the risk and reward factor kind of goes out the window. Now, I'm not saying I don't understand why wow. he does it. I just yeah. don't agree with it. I, I understand the feeling. I honestly yeah, yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. And, and the okay. mindset. That part I understand. I just I just don't agree with it. Interesting. Yeah. Why do you feel like you have to agree with it, or disagree? Oh, I'm not saying I have to, but that's my <laughs> truth. Stop. Right? I'm being serious. Wait. Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean your truth? That's that, what that's my somebody... my experience. That's okay. my perspective on it. Okay. I, I I cannot agree with something, right? Yeah. Just because it was a cool documentary, yeah. That, mean, that doesn't mean I have to agree with it. Okay. Interesting. And I always remember that there's a part of it that's sensationalized and romanticized because yeah. it's in, it's shot in a certain way. Right. Yeah. And then it's edited and. Yeah. Because when you're actually up there doing it. I mean, <laughs> dude, I see like a 30 foot cliff, like a 30 foot high rock wall. And I'm like, I wouldn't climb that. I know. And then when, when you're looking and to look up a mountain where you have to go like that and you still don't see the, the top of it. And you're like, I'll climb that. I'd be like, yeah, no, go pay taxes. OK. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to live your life, though. You okay. know, yeah. like that's right. his decision. Right. And yes. Like, and 100%. being like, OK. I, in a way, I was like, I respect that. He might die, and he most likely will die doing this, but he, mm. he will die doing something he absolutely loves. And that's what I took away from it, was like to do something with in the midst of fear and the possibility of such, you know, the consequence of death. Yeah. But the ability to, to still be like, I, I want to do this thing, mm. you know? I, so I took away, away, away from it that, even in my own life, like, all right, what is, I'm not going to go and climb a mountain or do like right. anything that um, kind of wild. But I was like, okay, how can I bring some of that into what I do of mm. I'm not going to be, um, you know, 
allow fear to kind of break me down or or shake the amount of passion I have for something, mm. it, despite the consequences, not even consequences, the whatever the obstacles that might be in my way. Sure, that's so a that's great, kind of what I yeah. what I took away from it, and yeah. and respecting that somebody loves something so much mm. that they they put their life on the line to do it, even if you know I I would never do something like that. Yeah, that's, the, yeah, the principles yeah. of that. Yeah, I I can agree with. They can be applied to certain <clears throat> things, but again, I think like with most things in life, you have to find the balance and the correct dichotomy for the situation and for what you're experiencing. You know what I mean? Again, yeah, there are definitely good things to take from that documentary and there are definitely things that I personally don't agree with and that's okay too. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm, I la- touch me, Andy. <laughs> I know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> um, no, this is so much fun. <clears throat> All right. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. shoot. You're... Uh, on a show yes. for Amazon. That's yes. freaking awesome. Yeah. I know. It's crazy. It's such a dream. Yeah. Yeah. When does it come out? Uh, next year. Some okay. Point? Cool. So finish yeah. shooting though, right? Yeah. We just finished shooting. Yeah. Um, shot up in Vancouver and it, it was incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. It, it was, it was a dream. You know, like, I, I, I've always loved acting. It's, it's been one of my passions and I, to get to do it at this level has been so it, it just amazing. Yeah. And I loved it. I love being on set and meeting everybody and, and just working every day was so great mm. that it was interesting, like coming back to LA and I got my first audition back and I haven't gone into a room uh, for like three months. And, and so that was, interesting going from like being on set every day working 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 and then like oh now let me go into a room that's you know you don't know what you're gonna get or or whatever and I found myself being nervous of oh can I do it can I can I still audition yeah um because it's a different beast you know and and just getting the like those jitters and nerves that that was that was really interesting yeah and then kind of walking in there and it was. It's this weird feeling of okay, I'm nervous, but then also I have more confidence of having worked every day for the last few months and being on set and, and being a leader on set and you know carrying, um, you know, being one of the leads. And it's like, oh yeah, this is okay. I, I belong. Yes, I can do this. But then there's that. You know, it's like, can you though? <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> I think that voice, uh, you know, and especially in the, it gets quieter and quieter. I yeah. think as time goes on, because you start yeah. having more affirmations for yourself, more right. confidence. You're working more, and you're realizing the truth of certain things. And so, yeah, yeah, that those jitters eventually. I, f- I feel for me, it, just with time, you know, because you're like, hey, I've, I've been working before in the past. Oh, I'll yeah. work again. And I just need to keep working on my craft. And that's the biggest right. confidence booster for me. Mm-hmm. And it's a logical thing. It's like, well, if I continue to work on my craft in a positive and a correct way, in a diligent way, and extremely consistent, then it's just going to take time. Yeah. And that's all it is. Yeah, um, that's what it comes down to. It was interesting because then, like, I got an audition the next day and it was a completely different experience. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right, cool. <laughs> um, we we got to take a quick break, uh, but we'll uh, we'll be right back and we'll talk more. Awesome. Love Great. it. You know, I had a dream about Meryl Streep last night. No. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> that was my segue into your dream. <laughs> Isn't she great? I'm excited for uh, Big Little Lies um, that she's on it. Big Little Lies. I haven't seen that. the trailer for that. Or... Oh, have you seen season one? No. What? Yeah. What? Big Little Lies. No, I have not. I don't watch TV. I know. It's crazy. I'm Wait. a TV actor and I don't watch TV. Who? I got it. Well, it's because you, you're, like, running up mountains and stuff. Yeah, That's, I'm working. Wow. Ooh. Making bank. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. I'm kidding. Really? Yeah. I like to watch at least the pilot of not every show, but as many shows oh, as I can. that's smart. Just so I can know if someone brings it up, I can be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I've 
I get the tone. I get the characters. I know who you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I love it, then I'll keep watching that's the smart. entire show. Really, I'm, that's fascinating, though, that you don't you don't watch TV. Really? Do you have a TV? Uh, yes. What do you watch on it? <sighs> so recently, it's been a lot of documentaries. Oh, like Free Solo? Uh, yeah, I just watch that <laughs> on repeat and just get angry <laughs> the whole time. I'm like, get a job! <laughs> Pay taxes, <laughs> damn it! No, he I'm does kidding. pay taxes. Uh, yeah. I don't uh, know. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> you don't I know. I got your you. back. Okay, I got your back. <laughs> I gotta have him on the show. Maybe maybe he'll change yes. my mind if he's on here. Yes. At least open up my know. perspective a little bit more. But I feel like, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't watch shows uh, because I'm either reading a lot, and I usually, I don't know, just been wow, you read weird kick. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What are you reading? Right now, the dichotomy of leadership. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You went there. Yeah, I did. Sorry to our listeners. If you keep hearing it, just cut out for like literally a quarter of a second. We're trying to figure that out. Um, yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's okay, Michael. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's what I'm reading. I don't reading hear right anything. Now. I know. <laughs> 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 I am aware, Andy. <laughs> You're so much fun. Um <laughs> Uh, this is awesome. Yeah. Uh, so Meryl. Meryl Streep. Yeah. Meryl, your dream. Your dream. Meryl, because we're on a first name basis after my dream, uh, showed course. up and she was training and studying for the, preparing for this play that she was doing. Yeah. And I think we were in Greece or, or Portugal and <laughs> <laughs> it was some <laughs> Spanish type Mediterranean vibe. Okay. I dig it. Oh, I got excited. You did. Yeah, I'm talking about Meryl. <laughs> Meryl, Meryl Streep. She's got I mean, calves. Oh, yeah. She... <laughs> Her calves. Her calves. Oh, Lord. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> Stop. Don't bring up calves. I'm trying to tell this story. Okay, Andy. <sighs> Is it getting warm in here? Listen. Okay. So. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> So she's like learning her lines, prepping, prepping, yeah. and I'm there, and we don't know each other. Um, I'm just kind of there, um, assisting or whatever, and when I'm in the presence, you know, of her, okay. um, you know, her genius, and I see her notebook with all her notes and all like the way she studies and and preps for a role, and I was like, I mean, I must, I must look at this, and so like I take it and like I open it up. And there's like, you know, all the lines and dialogue and everything like that. And on on the, every side, she has like questions, discoveries, more questions, and like filled, filled with writing. And I was like, wow, this is the craft. Mm. Constant discovery. Yeah. Constant just like asking and wanting to learn and digging and digging and digging. I was like, "Wow, Meryl, damn, that's really cool." You're the shit. That 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 might be like a little. Maybe it's like pushing you artistically in one yeah. direction to keep digging more into your work. Totally, I'll take it as that. That that's, yes, that's definitely a sign. Yeah, Do yeah, it. I know. It. So that was that was yeah. Are you a big? Do you write a lot of notes on your scripts? I don't. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a big writer on scripts. Interesting. Yeah. I started out. Uh-huh. What you're describing uh-huh. with writing a lot, yeah. And then over the past, since well, let's say since I've been in LA uh-huh. only like ten years, okay, it's gone to almost nothing on the script, yeah. Which is really interesting for me. Yeah, I yeah, I just it's been it's hmm. been interesting. I haven't. Have you been I've formally been trained in acting? Like any? Yeah, you? I studied um, Meisner, so I Great. did a two year training. Perfect. Yeah. That's a great that course. Was, I loved it. Yeah. It was, if it you can so get it, great. it's good, great. Yeah. Some people, it's very difficult or they don't get it and they have a hard time. It doesn't resonate. Yeah. No. And that's the thing. Like You have to find the, the training that kind of speaks to you and that resonates mm. with you in a way. Because there's, I mean, there's so many different philosophies. At the end of the day, though, it's like mm. I, the, the Meisner philosophy and training just really resonated with me and, you know, strengthening your imagination and, right. you know, that. And just, I don't know, being present and reacting, honestly. You hit it on the head. circumstances. In terms of the imagining. Part. Yeah. <laughs> the where, other where, part, no. no. I know, no I, <laughs> the other part, absolutely not. You missed it completely. <laughs> F. Wow. No. Uh, okay. no, but that's a lot yes, of things actors forget to do, I think, is like, okay, well, 
you have to ma- you have to make your your story your life so detailed. That's why I like mm-hmm. Uta Hagen's Nine Questions. Mm. Have you? Are you? I started reading her book. I didn't finish. Respect for acting. Yeah. Yeah. Those nine questions. I need to yeah. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading this other book. Um, the um, I like I like this though. By the way, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. <laughs> I'm reading this other book. Point to your wrist, sir. <laughs> I just want you to know. <laughs> So, so you have so. great mannerisms, by the way. So I'm adopting all these for a character later on in the future. Oh, great. I'm doing your biopic. I'm being Andy Allo. We look exactly the same. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, okay. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. No. Okay. Anyway. It looks great. <laughs> Thank you. It looks great. I have great hair. I know. <laughs> oh, I mean, I didn't go that far. I was just. I, oh. Andy, <laughs> everyone knows I have great hair. Who? Who? Literally everyone. everyone? Oh, okay. If you go on IMDb. Oh, one of the, the – your Yeah, there's one just like for my hair. Great hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what were you going to say? I totally forgot. A book you're reading. Yeah, that's right. A book. Um, the Actor and the Target. Oh, okay. I'll write that yes, down, actually. It's, it's so great. Um, I just want to – Check. We're, we're still recording, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Right. <laughs> the Actor and the Target. The, are you reading this currently? Yes. Okay. And it's, I love it. It's all about um, getting out of your own way as an actor. Mm-hmm. And um, Declan Don- Donnellan. Okay. I wanted to make sure I got his name right. Yeah. I think um, we'll pull it up on the screen. Yeah. Michael's got it. That's cool. Yeah. And as actors, getting, getting out of the way of the character mm-hmm. and – Instead of it being like, well, what do I think about the, you know, the character and what they're going through yeah. or, you know, um, instead of coming approaching it as myself looking at the character and trying to, it's more so, what does the character see? And what is, looking at it more from the character's point of view and mm. less about your point of view from the, at, of the actor. Yes. Of the character. You know what I'm saying? That takes a lot of awareness. Yes. And so that's been a trip, like, reading that. Because very much, you know, it's like, yeah, you have your imagination. You're imagining, like, the world of the character and um, and all these things. But then you also think of, oh, I, I, I can relate to this. Like, this is a thing that, let me, I can kind of um, understand from my own life. And maybe I can bring a bit of that in, of that personalization or whatever. You know, if, if there's a moment that's like, oh, yeah, okay. You know, but he's saying that it's it shouldn't be about that at all. Mm. It's like truly, truly imagine the character as the character, see what they see, and also um, just even regarding to this. I don't know if your listeners like, like enjoy this kind of stuff. This is like oh yeah, they do. They do <laughs> I'm about a lot, to yeah. like go in on like go acting in. Let's stuff. go in. Buckle up. <laughs> Buckle up. Let's do it. But as far as like stakes go, which I when I'm at this part where he's talking about this and I'm just like, wow, this is so cool when setting up the stakes and the, you know, the urgency of of a situation and the importance of something for your character. Right. And he's like, as the character, they they have to feel what is possible and what is not possible at the same time. And as the actor, you need to recognize that and fully embody the possibilities of, you know, um, he, one of the he uses like Romeo and Juliet as like a lot of like different plays. But the one I can think of now is like Romeo and Juliet, like for Juliet, the possibility that Romeo is the one and the possibility that he's not uh, the possibility that he um, is the sweet, amazing guy. And the possibility that he's not, mm. and and then thinking about then because as a character and a fully realized person, you do that whenever you're going into a situation. You, you maybe not you're not completely aware of it, but you're like, okay, this could go well. This could, this could go really bad. Whether you're going into, you know. Yes, I think what I, I I agree with you. I'm, I know that. I'm explaining. I don't know how no, I'm, no, if I'm doing I'm, a good job at, but the book does a better job of explaining. <laughs> no, no, this. I got you. I got but, you. But yeah. I think it's dependent on. Also, you have to be careful as an actor. 
is it appropriate for the lines during which which when I'm feeling that is it appropriate for which lines to feel that way because I think then for beginning actors uh, I sh- beginning actors like n- n- newbies to the craft you know what I mean mm-hmm. like a few years in mm-hmm. I feel like it can get muddled in you know there's uh, yeah with the, with with a line that maybe maybe you're not thinking that in that line even though it's appropriate to think that what you're feeling. Yeah. Maybe find another place for it. Does that make sense? I got to read this. This is no, really interesting No, absolutely. To me. And I think w- in relation to that is not so much a line per line kind of motivation. Mm. It's more so thinking of the character's life. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. And how they view things. Yes. And what's happening internally. So not so much, okay, that I think when it comes down to breaking it down the text and mm. that's that's different. That's all kind of happening. And then, you know... It informs what you say, but isn't like, okay, this, you know. Absolutely. I, I agree with what you're so saying. So it's more the, yeah. when you're diving into who this person is and their, what is really happening in their life. Yeah. And not just saying, you know, for Juliet, I love him, I love him, I love him. And that's it. It's like, no, there's, there's other things going on with her because she's a real person. It's just, you know, and I think just in reading it, I was like, oh yeah, like, the tendency would be to she's this young, naive, full of life and love and just wants him so badly. But like she's dealing with a whole host of other things of like mm-hmm. family. And what if he isn't? What if he isn't? You know, what it wouldn't that be more wouldn't that not more interesting, but would it be give her another layer if she did have a quick thought and of of not being sure that this is she doing the right thing? Yeah. But despite that forges ahead you know it takes again it takes a lot of awareness self-awareness for an actor to to get a grasp of that or yeah. start to even get a grasp of that yeah and not that it needs to show and that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting from this it's like all of this isn't you know is not meant to be like i'm gonna now say my lines with all of this you know it's like right. it's just getting such a deep understanding of a character and a person outside of you outside of your actory self yeah it's like oh no like i understand who this person is and what's happening in their world and then and you just bring you bring that and then you know you go from there it's such a simple solution like just imagine and then, just, and then and it comes back to imagination yeah. right it's it's just, just just imagine it then. just imagine and we all do it it's like you get lost in thought imagining anything everything you know but it's so weird like I found as an actor having to hone my imagination and not relearn, but like the training really helped to kind of bring back that like childlike um, beginner's mind or childlike excitement and imagination as opposed to, you know, like, oh, let me think about this. Let me da 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 da. And just like, no, I imagine all the time. Just, it's so weird. As I feel like, mm. not now, but when I feel like I was starting out, it's like very much less about the imagination, the fun, and the play, and more so like, okay, what what is this? What what are the lines? What is? Let me, you know, which I it's a journey. I yeah. think it's the journey of go. You go. No, no, I feel no. Like I'm just like talking no, no, so no, no. much. No, I. No, no, you're not. I, I, there's, there's definitely a marriage between those things. Yeah, you gotta yeah, be, yeah. you gotta be, have fun with it. Because if it's not enjoy, if you're not having fun yeah. as an actor, then we're not gonna enjoy watching you. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. And so, but, but at the same time, we have to, we have to connect that with the actual work. Make sure we're the technique and the yes, yeah, the we're, text, we're yeah. yeah, we're respecting the text. We're respecting yes. the story. We need to go with that. We can't just be like. Willy nilly right. on there. No, I get it. This is great. So it's the actor and the target and the target. And I, I have the worst handwriting in the world. All right. I yep. like, can you read that? I can't read it. And obviously, I had to ask you again. <laughs> the actor and the target. Make sure we bookmark that page because I probably still won't read that later on. <laughs> I'll have to re-listen to this to get this book. Here's um, another book for you. Okay. Um, for 20- me or just? <laughs> I do do this. You do do that. Yeah, I know. <gasps> yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the picture too. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, (laughs) Now I can't help it. I know. 
So I'm telling you, this show has taught me about some of my mannerisms and the stuff I say all the well, time. Because yeah, you're watching, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, but don't worry. No, this is not as bad as what I do. So <laughs> you are much. Now I'm gonna go back and watch all the other ones just so I can be like, oh yeah, Oof, yeah. yikes, <laughs> yeah. Nowhere near as yeah. Mm, okay. People think yeah. I wear beanies all the time, and it's actually true. I do wear beanies all the time. Well, that picture doesn't have a beanie in it. That's true because uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, we. You need look so happy. I do because it's it's my world, and we're talking about all the stuff I love to talk about. I like you with facial hair, though. I will say. Okay. It. I don't know. It gives you like an edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't. Whoa, I wasn't ready. I'm sorry, I'm imagining. <laughs> I'm doing all the You're imagination. So <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Other book. Yes. 2150. 2150. Okay, yes. cool. I'll check that out too. I oh. love like dystopian type books and movies and all of that. So great. This, you, would, you would love that. Awesome. Um, we're going to jump into some uh, stuff that I love to do. Current events. Great. And then Michael. Uh, Michael, I'm, I can't wait for this week's current events because they're, they're usually weird, which I so like. So it's a kind of current events kind of like question sort oh. of thing for, oh. for this week. Oh, do I get to chime in on this? Uh, oh, yeah. No, I no, no, no. both no, of no, you no, guys. No. Or should I just? No, no. Step back. Just step, just step so, back. So <laughs> uh, the first one that I have. The first one that I have is uh, about the movie Booksmart. Ooh, Olivia Wilde. I don't it's know if you've seen it. Directorial debut. It's hilarious. Okay. But there's some debate whether or not it's a box office failure because it made $8.7 over Memorial Day weekend. But is it just an indie movie? Like, is it is that, like, just too high of expectations for it? Did How much they... did the movie cost? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but... Two million. Two million? It's not a failure. That's a success. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a failure. They made their money and more. And it's a critical, critically acclaimed that this. Oh, it's not so a failure. That it's it, yeah. It's, what? People, people are just being stupid. Also, yes. Again, Olivia Wilde, she first time directing, and being a woman, I just I think that's so that's so beautiful and powerful, and that's like I haven't watched it. I can't wait to watch it, but uh, I've had a couple friends who've seen it, and they were just like, I I loved it, and it was so relatable. It's um, hilarious. Of experience, yeah. So, I'm But they're trying to, like, relate it to, like, Superbad because it's, like, supposed to be, like, the female <laughs> Superbad uh, where Superbad I, made, like, $169 million over its entire run, but it's, like, trying to, like, measure the two in the same way, mm -hmm. especially because, well, Booksmart was released right with Aladdin, John Wick, Detective Pikachu, all these all other big movies. Okay. How was it supposed to... You know, get, gain a foothold, whereas Superbad came out near the end of the summer. Um, I remember watching it freshman year of college. Yeah. So it was like, it was alone pretty much in that weekend. So it's See, like, what, it do you, bugs, what do you guys think yeah, of that? Yeah, man, I, I hate it when people say it's a yes. failure or something that's like, was this a failure? It's like, hey, you do better. How does that sound? Right. Hey, I'm sorry. You, you make you, a movie. Ha, right. Exactly. You make a movie for two million and have it make eight million. Mm -hmm. How about that? Right. Bye. <laughs> what, what have you done? <laughs> okay. That 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 really <laughs> really annoys me. And I hate comparing too. Exactly. It's like that yes, I'm sure it has a, a feeling like super bad, and and maybe that was their you know vibe or tone, but it's like, but it isn't. This is its own thing. Mm. Let it stand on its own and like shine on its own. It's like no, and it come on now. You said it's critically acclaimed. Oh, right? it's critically acclaimed. Yeah, okay. everyone, everyone who's seen it loves it. It's I I saw it last weekend. It's yeah, hilarious. Well, then That's one of the, one of the yeah. one of the funniest movies of the year. It's. That's it's awesome. Really well done. I haven't seen it, but yeah, from what it, but... what what the fact that you're telling me. A lot of people, if not everyone that you know, is saying all this stuff, and the mm -hmm. reason that they're saying it's a failure only because it only made eight million, only a six million dollar profit, and it's kind of mm -hmm. like super bad. That sounds like somebody who uh, needs to get out more and widen their perspective <laughs> and actually right. uh, do something with their life. Mm -hmm. So, but boom. Anyway, next, yeah. next, next up, we have. Uh, <laughs> Andy, we, I like that. We have a next. little uh, debate uh, over where you keep your washing machine. Uh, that's going on right now. Uh, there are some people in London who keep it in their kitchen, apparently. Like, that's a thing in London. Mm. For space thing? 
Or just because the, it's just the normal... Yeah, that's just where they keep okay. it. That's okay. just where they keep it. Like, they All don't right. have, like, a separate room for it. Okay. The, that's just where they keep it. And then they're saying in Germany, they keep it in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I that like that. Sense. That makes more sense. Yeah. The bathroom makes more yeah. sense. Yes. I don't yeah. have that yet. I look forward to having that a washer, a washer and, dryer. and dryer. Yeah. It's the best thing within. in the world. Within. Yeah. I, yeah. Ha- I, I mean, if you can afford it, Definitely have that part of the uh, apartment <laughs> mm-hmm. hunting experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. for us, it's kind of... I just hand wash all my clothes. Do you really? Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you go into... Uh, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> In Hawaii? <laughs> In Cameroon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. My family in Syria used to do that. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it's not that it weird. It was the norm, yeah. yeah. And you had like a clothesline and you just, you know, you washed it. Sometimes I, if I, there's like a, like a pen. Oh my gosh, I remember this. This is so random. But in middle school, I, this, this young, this boy, so annoying. Um, I remember his name. <laughs> I, I won't say his name. <laughs> anyway. Can um, you write it down? Just because I'm just curious. I won't show it. I just want to see it. I can't. Okay, all right. Um. <laughs> It was Ben. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? Yes. Uh, I know yes! his last name too. I won't say his last name. But okay. um, clearly this was a, <laughs> an experience that – because, he, yeah, he, was, he would always like make fun of me or whatever. And, and we would like fight and um, – yeah. as yeah, you're, you're little kids and it's like leave me alone. And when I moved here, I had uh, my African Cameroonian accent, you know, oh. and which gradually I learned how to speak – like an American, because um, I wanted because yeah. I wanted to fit in. Yeah. But I, I had my accent and all this stuff, and he would kind of make fun of me and blah blah blah. But I one time we were playing, and I wrote, I took a pen and I drew on his shirt, and that was like, oh my god, like Uh-oh. my mom, oh my goodness, you just like destroyed my shirt. How am I ever gonna da da da? And I was like, I I will get it. I can get that stain out you know like it's it's not even a stain whatever and yeah. he's like all right well i'm gonna bring it back tomorrow <laughs> you have to get it this is so dumb that's what i'm saying this i'm like what <laughs> this i'm is invested like, as a, in the story as a 13 year old this is this is what i was dealing yeah. with and so like i went home like a little soap and like yeah. you know you yeah you, it was because i it's like you know that's you huh. get stuff out yeah you use your hands and wash it good person he was gone it was yeah. gone and i was like here take your fucking shirt bye Fucking Ben. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like. That's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. No. I don't know why I just stole that story. No, I love so... it. I love it. That's going to be the God, tag please. for every... Oh, great. <laughs> Fucking Ben. <laughs> Fucking Ben. <laughs> so my last one is kind of another one of those, like, I feel like you could relate to this one, mm. maybe. Oh, okay. Especially. Okay. Okay. Um, so this, I'll, I'll pull this one up on the screen, but uh, a car to go car is parked in a man's driveway. Uh, he blocks it in and demands a fee for uh, uh, keeping the car there. Cause like it's a, sh- the, the car sharing company is basically you, uh, you rent a car and okay. you, you like leave it like just in your neighborhood or in driveway oh. and then people like rent the car and come like grab the car somehow. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Interesting. So this man, what? Uh, sorry, I'm just is a little confused. Is this his driveway? Yes, it's his driveway. He oh. noticed someone had parked the vehicle uh, marked with decals for the ride sharing company in a parking spot belonging to one of his tenants. And then uh, he contacted them and said they had two hours to get the car, but Smith reportedly didn't hear back from the company for six hours. Uh, and then he t- said that he would move the car himself, but the representative said he couldn't since he's not a m- the guy couldn't since he's not a member of the ride sharing company, dude. And so uh, he called tow companies, and then he's just like, you know what? Screw it. Private property. Car to go may not trespass on his property. Block the car in. Love it. You know why? Because <laughs> it's his property. <laughs> it's his property. Yeah, and he right. Tr- and now he's asking for reimbursement, sixty-five days a day or sixty-five dollars per day <laughs> for an impound fee. Okay, now you're getting no. Nope. Now, okay, and now five like, five hundred dollars <laughs> fee. I love it. Five hundred dollar <laughs> fee for renter harassment. Great, oh. dude, <laughs> dude. Wow, this is this is me. Go d- <laughs> incarnate with the with the tent shop. That th- so I totally feel this guy's <laughs> frustration. I, I have a better hold on my anger than this guy, <laughs> but hey, you do you, man. Your property. That's what that's. You might be going a little extreme. <laughs> but who was this person who left it there? Like, why didn't I? Don't understand. Hey, 
Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, people are so stupid and so frustrating. I hate it sometimes, man. (laughs) Yeah, that's... uh, Hey, car come... By the way, car to go... It's blocking my driveway. Can I just move it? I'll put it on the street. No, sorry, you can't do that. All right, well now right. now this is a bigger mess. Congratulations. I always thought the car to go thing was you you can rent it, but then you like go and drop it back off at the parking lot. Their car to go. Well, that's the, the lot. whole point is that they're like all over the place and so you can technically pick it up from anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's actually sounds so sketch. A little bit, yeah. Really? Like, yeah, you can like. That seems pat- really convenient. It does at first, but then you think about like, you can just drugs and like like legal activities through it, like bodies and stuff. Wow. And, yeah. Really. Exotic furs. Robert Banks. <laughs> Robert. Robert Banks. I like how I went. What? Drugs, yeah. guys. Murder. Exotic furs. <laughs> 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 okay, but they have a database. It's like, you know, you got to you got to go like, you know, boop and it's all there. Yeah. So they know who who's renting. Maybe you make a fake profile. I'm saying there's ways around. It. No, cuz then they follow your IP address. <laughs> I mean, I mean unless you use like a VPN or something like that, but even still. Yeah, Listen, let's not it. get into technicalities here. It's just, you know, technology. It's like So I have It's fine. I don't want to do that to you. <laughs> What's that? You got I, one ha- I have they one last. I have one last thing, but we can do it when we get back from break. <laughs> What's um, it? It's about a professor or a teacher who decided to make a Generation Z slang dictionary. So. I'm interested. So I'm going to ask you guys, or I'm going to oh. I'm going to say a word and ask you guys what yeah. you think it means when we get come back from break. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Love it. All right, we'll be right back. We're so back. funny, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> because I just thought, like, you put your headphones on. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if he's just, like, listening to music and not listening at Dude, all to how music. how fucking I'm funny saying. would that be? That's exactly my <laughs> type of humor. talking. <laughs> That's exactly my type of humor. I know, we are cut from the same cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Cameroon accent? No, I'm kidding. That's not Cameroon <laughs> no. at all. <laughs> Um, Michael, all right, let's play the okay. game. All right, so yeah, there's this uh, there's this teacher who decided to like write out a uh, uh, slang terms for like his students that what they use and what they mean. So I'm gonna ask you guys a few. Gen words. Z is not those not, that's not millennials. Like we're millennials. Gen, we're Let's we're see. millennials. I'm not, right? I'm not millennial. Yes, you are actually. No, yes, no. You, you you actually are. are. You a hundred? Like no, I don't exactly. I, I like, don't I don't adhere to that group. Yes, you are. <laughs> but you are. I'm forced into a group. Yep. Yes, you're doing a podcast and a radio show. You're you're a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you see the way I? I'm sorry. I'm I know I shouldn't. I, I'm no. shouldn't assume that you're like a. I don't care. A touchy feely. I'm. I'm, I'm actually I'm, not. I, I, you're not. No, but I actually. I'm, I'm. I'm just messing with you right now. But I'm oh, actually okay. not a big like like hugger or anything like really? that. Really? Yeah. Oh my like gosh. That. So here's the thing. Anyway. Well, millennials. Sorry, no. okay. here's, we'll, here's, we'll, we'll dive into that one, later. One second, Michael. Anyway. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So when I was on set, like, I, I'm i such a hugger. Like, I just, yeah. I'm an affectionate person. Yeah, 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 So it's very much like, I'm like, hey, like, da-da-da. I'm not going to be I, rude. Yeah. If you, like, like you came in for the hug. I'm not going to be rude and be like, oh, no, 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 don't, what are you doing? You know, like, that'd be you know, very rude. I did sense, though, that there was a hesitation on your part. Yeah, I just because you shook my hand, and I was yeah. like, "No, but you're fam. Let's go." That's so nice of you. I really then, appreciate that. But you were like, "No, we're not." <laughs> How about you? You should see me in a cultural interaction where people are kissing on the cheeks. Yeah. Oh my god, I get so uncomfortable because even it's not because it's either different sex or same sex it's because i don't like okay how close to the cheek are we getting am i actually kissing the cheek this dude's scruff is way too hard like do you know what i mean like i don't know what specific it's very specific but it'll throw you off you know what i mean yeah, because yeah, yeah. being yeah. that intimate it's either yeah. for me are we fighting or are we making love so it's just and for the cat there's no in between <laughs> yeah there's no in between of like we're either on the ground trying to choke each other or or on the ground trying to choke each other. <laughs> okay, there let's okay. All right, and all with right. that. Michael, we're back. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> just to clarify, yeah. uh, millennials are anyone born between the years 1981 to 1996. So. Okay, great. Oh, I'm 87. So I'm not. You are. 
Wait, you, you said 1981? Count? To 1996. 19, sorry, I heard <laughs> 86. Did I say 86? I, heard, I might have said 86. No, I heard, he said 1996. I heard 81 to 86. Anyway, okay. I'm a millennial. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm not a millennial. Not a millennial. Go ahead. Wow. Okay. Okay. Bops. <sighs> Bops. Oh, a bop. Um, <laughs> you don't know. Don't bops, know. Bops, bops are like it's like a jam. Like that's a hit. Like oh, that's a bop. Like bops. Um, whenever somebody like a kid does something that's a, just a little rude, I go bops. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, it's a, a modern, enjoyable song. So oh, yeah. Andy gets it. <laughs> it's not that's hitting children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, bread. Money, oh, money, money. Yeah. But you still, I said it first. We need a buzzer. <laughs> Boop. Bop. Bop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this place is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> More often than you think. <laughs> Kidding. The game. The uh, game is, you go, you go. You don't know. That's I do. I do. <laughs> Go ahead. No, because you keep stealing all my answers. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you. I'm not gonna give you that. No. Oh, Work I'm, for it. I'm angry at Jasmine now for referring you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the game. You know, like the 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 struggle. You know, like if you're, you know, you got to play the game. Career wise stuff. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, damn. Not the rapper. He's a good rapper, though. Uh, the game is, like, if you got game, like, trying to, like, talk to somebody, like, and the game of, yeah. you know, cat and mouse play, yeah. whatever. Ooh, you religion. got calves, yeah. too. Meryl. <laughs> we Sam is actually closest. It's a uh, life. Life. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tied two yeah. to two. Yeah. I didn't know this <laughs> I think mine game. was in there, too. It's part of the game. Anyway. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Nunya. Oh. Nunya business. Yeah. Nunya. There we go. Uh, let's see. What's what's a good one? I like this dictionary. All right. Slay. Oh, slay. I mean, like you're killing to it. Kill it. Yeah, yes. like you're doing great. I Sad yeah, word. slay all day. Nama slay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we got today. Thanks for coming in, Andy. Such a great show. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let me just try to find one. Like, dude? One last one. Okay. Nama slay. Like Namaste, but yes. Namaste. Oh yeah, Dude. you haven't seen those T-shirts? No. Oh, wow. oh there's T-shirts. Well, yes. Ah, oh, millennials. Am I right, guys? <laughs> mm -mm. We're all millennials. That's the joke. That's comedy, baby. Uh, <laughs> he is all by himself. You are Gen Z. I'm 97. You said it's oh, 96. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Man. You should get out now. <laughs> no, please stay. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess let's let's do one last one. Yeah. Okay. Um, no cap. Oh, no Ooh, cap. No cap. Oh, no problem. No cap. I like no that limit. One. Maybe mm. no limit. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I'm waiting for Annie to answer. I was gonna say that. Uh, no. <laughs> no cap. Man. Well, I don't know. I like that. I'm stealing yours. Yeah. Okay. No limit. No. No like. There's no cap. Yeah. It's, it says, I'm serious, no lie, for real. Oh, we're uh, both wrong. Okay. Man, I was going to do that. I was going to be like, no, no problem. Yes, I was. No, I was like, no, no, hey, I was like, oh, but it's no didn't. thing, no yeah. thing, no cap. Yeah, but you did I was. And then I was like, I was, yeah. Yeah, but you didn't. You messed, you messed me up. <laughs> 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 All right. That's it. Andy. Okay. We untied. That was great. That was great. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Andy, thank you so much for coming on the show. You've been oh, awesome. Wow. Okay. No. Uh, do you you want to talk about some more stuff? We can. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm down. Uh, okay. I cleared my <laughs> entire day for this. It's a 12 hour podcast. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. How long okay. is this supposed to go? Honestly, uh, not exact. There's no exact time for this. Oh, it's like like an hour. Usually, how long is it usually? Uh, hour and a half. Oh hour, yeah. Yeah. An hour. Hour and a half. Just depends on the guest. But um, <laughs> we are recording another okay. one after this. Okay, that's cool. Um, no, that's cool. Yeah. But we have no, I got, I got, um. <laughs> Dude, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I got, I'm kidding. I got, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I got, I'm I, I just wanted to make you feel. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're done okay. with the show. Um, no, so 
all your stuff is on Spotify and yes. and iTunes, correct? Yeah, Spotify, iTunes. Cool. And people can see you uh, watch your everything. stuff on YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. Right. Follow me on Instagram. All and the all the good things. You, uh, your show comes out next year on Amazon. Yes. Yep. That's super exciting. Yeah. The creators of The Office, if I'm not correct, right? Yes, right. Greg Daniels. Yeah. Greg Daniels. That's amazing, I man. know. That's that's a dream come true right there. Totally. I'm so happy for you, seriously. And you you were uh, referred to us by Jasmine, which is yes. so great. A little shout, shout out. out to Jasmine. Woo woo. Yep. Love you, Jasmine. Should we FaceTime her? Yes. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, oh and I gosh. knew you would love that, and I hope she. What answers. if she doesn't answer, and then I call her, and then she answers? <laughs> that's that's probably so. Uh, you know how much I tease her. Oh, maybe that's why she's not gonna. Yeah, answer. you know how much she used to fart on set. No. Yeah, all the time. No. Yeah, she ruined one of my takes. No, that's horrible. I know. She talks about it. She she brags about it. <sighs> oh wait, how are we gonna do this? This way. Oh yeah, I want people to see her. Oh okay okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I can't be like that. There we go. You oh, keep I know, I keep touching it, I know. Again. She's probably not going to answer. This is probably early for her. Yeah, it's almost... It's late, though. Okay, let me try. Let's see. I bet you she answers for you. That would actually be really funny. Oh, oh dude, gosh. if she does... <sighs> but then she... Since it's back-to-back, -back, then she'll be like, Oh, you guys are yeah. together. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And maybe that's why she'll answer. Yeah. Yeah. Or she won't answer. Or either. she won't answer. Not. She, yeah, she's not gonna answer. Yeah, dang it. What? No. Oh, I thought this stopped nope. connecting. I know. <sighs> Jasmine. Come on, girl. That's okay. <laughs> well. Boo. Boo. Andy. This was amazing. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank Seriously. You. you are just uh, just an absolute uh, good time and, uh, and delight. Delete. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> Control out the week. Control. You just are just control all Let me just woo, get out of here. Um, <laughs> um, um, and you're just Andy Allo on everything? On yes, Instagram, Twitter? Yeah. Cool. Just my name. Seriously, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. It's this was a blast. blast. I, I, yeah, yeah, this was so much fun. Do it again. All yes. Right. Uh, let's play out this some music. Thank you, Adobe Radio. Thank you. Nice guy, digital. We're dancing. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Michael, happy birthday, sir. <gasps> Thank you, sir. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you, Peyton. Thank you, Steph Jula. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Yeah. Our numbers are going up. It's crazy. Oh. I know. Oh my gosh. We're, we, we're rising. Damn. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Shine, baby. Uh, thank you to our listener question today by Steph. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. <laughs> um, thank you to you guys again. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you to Andy. Thank you to Nice Guy Digital. Digital? No. Digital? Digital? I'm gonna Urban drink some mate. more of this Urban Mate. Yeah, thank you, Guayaki, for sponsoring us drink wise. Guayaki. Much love. Always remember to listen, think, and then talk. <laughs>